You went to your pal's second cousin's house the other day. <sighs> Why are you now? Good and you? What's bad? <laughs> I'm so bad. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Have you ever been to Dan's second cousin's house? Who, Garrett? No, Jarrett. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put a field car in their back pond one time and have not been welcomed back. Oh, sure you are, good buddies. Oh, boy, I'm, I'm good, good buddy. And why would that be, Wayne? Because Dan's second cousins have the biggest hick house I have ever seen. Wayne. I can beat it. No, you can. Can too. And not. Can and will. Katie, is this because we just came back from my second cousin's house down the side road? Darius' second cousin's house down the side road is the biggest hick house I have ever seen. Katie! Look. You are familiar with our stance on personal hygiene, so it should be no surprise our stance on home hygiene. Sounds like you want to go head to head, Katie. I'm ready for a hick off. You guys gonna hick off in front of each other, right here, right now? I hicked off earlier today. Dan's second cousins have the biggest hick house I've ever seen because... Prepare to interact socially. Reaction hologram on. I am reacting appropriately to the thing you just said. Small talk acknowledged. Ah, that's a bit much. But these work! Ha <laughs> ha! Who's an antisocial weirdo now? Not the girl who invented robot arms to hug strangers! Oh my god, I sound insane. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow's gonna be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You call now. I'll call now. I am Alphonse Elric. Mm, what if you're not? <gasps> Dan's second cousins have the biggest hick house I've ever seen because... You said you were going to grab us some more beers before all this, but you know, whatever. Derry's second cousins have the biggest hick house I've ever seen because... Well, let's just make sure nobody's feelings are going to get hurt here. When you pull up the laneway, a llama comes trotting up to your door the way a dog would. That's Cody. There's a Planned Parented billboard on the property right beside another billboard that says, Smile, your mom chose life. Oh, I thought it was good to stay bipartisan. There's a substantial ring of blood in the bathroom sink, shower, and toilet. Okay, define substantials. There's two Jack Russell Terriers in the kitchen standing side by side licking the wall. Yeah, they're wire hair Jack Russells, though. I mean, we're splitting hairs. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Well, the paper says tomorrow's gonna be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You'll call now. I'll call now. Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! When the album drops, we're like, boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! When the album drops, we're like, boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! When the album drops, we're like, boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! When the album drops, we're like, boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! When the album drops, we're like, you ain't seen these balls. Brett, the clones are loose! It's worse than that. I kind of sort of tried to burn them, and have you ever seen Akira? Of course I've seen Akira! Anime is very mainstream right now! <laughs> there was a patch of black ice inside the door that Dan's little cousins were playing ball hockey on, and one of them sticked me in the face. Oh, that'd be Cody. He's on the spectrums. Wait, the kid and the llama are both named Cody? Well, Cody got to name the llama, so... And then there was a toddler drinking a two liter of cream soda wearing a onesie that said sex instructor, first lessons free. That's Cody Jr. It's Cody's boy. There was bird shit on the carpet inside. You can't prove that that's bird shit. The floors are so slanted, Dan's cousin's GT from room to room. Now that is a Brett Hall's edition's GT's racers, and I challenge any of you to find one of those nowadays. The heavy tried men. I actually wish I could. Like, imagine you could play Smash Brothers with your boys, and then smash your boys. Look, but like, really, listen, no, it would be awesome. Listen, listen, you never know unless you try sometimes, right? I know, okay? I'm so straight, I could suck a dick and it wouldn't be gay. Oh. It can work like that? You take your garbage out, does that make you a garbage man? I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow is going to be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You'll call now. I'll call now. You're in big trouble though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. 
One of their living room chairs is just a flipped over blue box. They call a bucket in the closet an ensuite bathroom. There was a car parts titty calendar on the fridge. Dan's uncle showed me a nude photo of Dan's aunt that he keeps in his wallet. Aunt hey, Nancy's? They keep the windows open all winter because the whole place just smells like piss. Well, it may smell like that to you, but... There's an impossible amount of subway wrappers beside the toilet. Ew, you use the en suites? So, you finally arrived. What the hell are you wearing? It's my ass-kicking outfit, bitch! Ah, quick announcement for two of Greendale's finest. Payday is postponed until next week, so this is my freestyle rap apology. Well, I'm a peanut bar, and I'm here to say your checks will arrive on another day. Another day, another dime, another rhyme, another dollar. Another stuffed shirt with another white collar. Criminals, Wall Street, taking the pie, and all the black man gets is a plate of white lies. Prisons recruiting them, police be shooting them, rap artists looting them, labels all diluting them. Barack Obama is scared of me, cause I don't swallow knowledge and I spit it, but read, let me clear my throat. Ha ha ha! I don't know what that was, I don't. I don't know what that was. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. It's tomorrow's gonna be hotter. Hotter? You're like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday, you said you'd call Sears! I'll call today. You'll call now. I'll call now. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. The seer foretold tomorrow would be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday, you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You'll call now. I'll call now. Derry's second cousin burned his eyebrows off cooking meth. Yeah, that one won't be beat. Dan's uncle has too many DUIs to drive truck, but still somehow drives a school bus. Yeah, now that one won't be beat. I did see what could only be a glory hole. Katie, my aunt and uncle's sex life is none of your beeswax. On the side of the goat pen. Oh! You win. And here we go. Excellent serves in setting up. Here comes the spike. Gale has to stop his return. Or else. Oh, deflected! Oh! Right into Scott Sterling's face. He can get at this replay. The angle at which Sterling deflects the ball off his skull is nothing short of perfection. Like watching Da Vinci paint with his face. And here it goes. Oh, oh no! Sterling makes another tremendous save. And North Carolina is wasting no. Mother of Pearl! Sterling. Did you see that? Here comes the spike straight to the man. 